Hello, and welcome to my adventures in increasing my energy efficiency of my farm by undervolting my Sky Lake small form factor PCs. This is a coffee like it's a mixture, but I have a number of sixth, sixth generation Sky Lakes. However, an Intel XTU. Uh, the setting is blocked and throttle stop as well. See, it's grayed out. So what you have to do is downgrade the BIOS. You might be lucky enough to come across one on eBay or whatever, or a, or a school that has the correct BIOS to start with, but I have three different models. The 7040, uh, right, right there, that takes BIOS 1.5.9 in order to unlock uh, V-Core. The 7050, you just have to trust me, 7050 uh, takes BIOS 1.8.2 and then a, it's a 5040 takes, yeah, 5040 takes 1.4.5 I believe. Check the video description, but in this video I am here to for tips and tricks because after doing the flash it's not as simple as just rebooting you have to reset the configuration um, reset to BIOS defaults and what my mistake has been and don't do this is like before before flashing or whatever I saved mm, um, uh, the user profile to save my settings so I could just restore what I had before after flashing but the thing is is that that also saves the vCore lock of course it's not an option but whatever register it is there you go and so restoring your user settings whatever that's called you'll see will restore the lock with the new BIOS version and there's no GUI for it so this is showing you unedited the process of improving the energy efficiency of your 6th gen i5-6500, i5-6600, not that um, by t close to 20% by undervolting by 0 0.12 that's 120 millivolts 100% stable same clocks, 3.3 all core or 3.6 all core depending on the model but just free energy savings that should be like that from, from stock, from, from the factory. Um, I have a feeling the newer BIOS version is blocks it because of, um, I just heard of this term, uh, Plundervolt. Not to be confused with Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, but bl Blundervolt, where hackers, I mean, what do they do? They crash their computer, but they need... They just want to crash people's computers, so they undervolt the processor because it's unlocked. They gain access somehow. And so then Intel causes energy consumption, potentially, to, you know, energy efficiency not to be had. And, uh, also, with these optiplexes, so the ones you can undervolt is sixth generation Skylake and Haswell 4th generation. Uh, these tend to, actually I think these are Lenovo's and stuff, HP's, but anyway, um, they just, you don't need to mess with the BIOS, you just, uh, it just works and you undervolt by 0 .07, that's 70 millivolts, they're more sensitive to, than Skylake. So Skylake and Haswell. Coffee Lakes, you can only turn down the turbo boost. Uh, I turned down the package power from 65 watts to 50 watts. It reduces clock speed by like, I don't know, 8%, but the power savings is, what is it, like 17%? And then so a net savings, a net energy efficiency increase of 9 to 10% with just a little drop in performance. So, be even better if I could undervolt it but it, it's locked tight. So I just take the edge off the turbo boost and it's not a bad result. Uh, 
F2, F2. And I thought there might, you might have to do like factory reset twice or whatever, but that's dumb, right? So let's just do it once. Restore settings. Yeah, custom user, don't do this. Do not do custom user settings. It's going to restore the lock. Go to BIOS defaults, remember factory settings, and just BIOS defaults. Wait, and then mouse is, will be frozen for a few seconds. By the way, yes, I know my, my microphone sucks. Okay, so now it should be unlocked, but let me just restore the settings I want to restore. Because it's a, a headless unit. And when it does this, it does the um, power on-off cycle three times. That's normal, just leave it alone. And remember in the video, video description I'll have everything you need including uh, the links to the BIOS. Depending on your model. I have the three models that... I had some that just worked out of the box and I looked at the BIOS version and there it is. So I don't know about the others. Just 7040, 7050 and 5040 Skylakes. Any others feel free to add and I'll add it to my Reddit, Reddit post on the Optiplex group. So, let's see what power mouse meant. Yes, power on. And then post, headless. Yep. Apply. And now I'm going to save now that with unlock. Okay. Now let's go see the undervolt in action. Three times. Factor reset makes it go three times. Gosh darn plunder vault. Let people control their own machines, will you? Well, you have enthusiasts like me that just want to help the world out. Like these guys are, uh, these guys are all crunching, mapping, mapping cancer markers uh, at the World Community Grid. And, uh, you know, I've over a hundred million points. Let's see. Alright, one point two of the script. I'll also be in the description. Uh, this is Intel XTU. The latest version does not work on Skylakes. Okay, you need the older version. Uh, yeah, and I'll put that in the description. I don't know the version offhand. Uh, and with that, it does not have the save option, so you have to. Uh, see, there it goes. I don't know the version. But anyway, 1.2, and then it should change to about 1.08. Oh, it's because it was running while... Oh, see, there it went. It applied. The script ran and caused the GUI to crash, but it's applied now. And the script uh, runs a PowerShell uh, task scheduler runs a PowerShell script, um, which automates this on startup. So you got a negative point. 
point. You gotta refresh hardware info. But anyway, you, you see it in here. 0.12. And so you can look at package power now. It shows it now. See, uh, see it, does, it says does not refresh. Okay. Package power only 30 watts. If you change that back to uh, apply. Okay. Now we're at zero. This is a a Skylake uh, 6600, so 3.6 all core. Now it's 38 watts. Same clock speed. 39 watts. So that's free energy saving, guys. Apply. 29 watts. So that's like, what, eight to seven to eight watts saved here. And then you have the inner power supply inefficiency gain. So it's free savings. All right, everything will be in the description. And it should be the same steps for those three uh, Optiplex models. Any issues, please contact me. Happy crunching.